I honestly had no plans of doing this particular video until it was brought to my attention in a recent video's comments that we could actually go for a 308 caliber only hunt here in the Hunter Classic as we've now reached 308k on YouTube and it just never crossed my mind being that we've been doing all of the kind of like weapon caliber milestone hunts in Call of the Wild that we could do a 308 only hunt here in Classic and of course there are rifle and handgun variations so I think this will be a cool hunt to go on and Red Feather Falls is all big game we can actually use these weapons on every possible species and by the way before we get too far I can't believe I actually purchased this army camo it was on sale and I've always wanted it so I don't know maybe we'll wear that more in upcoming videos but I'm excited hopefully we can have our first trophy shot wearing that today behind something we can take with a 308. Well, that's interesting. That's a huge blacktail. And in about the worst spot I could have imagined. I had no idea that we were about to walk up on that. I mean, I had, I assume, his call. And then a doe called as well. I mean, that, that has to be a 190 blacktail. It was 180 to 200. That's going to be the first kill of this hunt. 82 kg, 10 meter shot, 194. 0.7. That is nuts. And once again, it's on Kylo's map. Is that any surprise at this point? Not only the multiplayer aspect, but also it's just like we always end up killing nice bucks here. So the only reason that I grabbed the handgun, minus the fact that it had the, the lower zoom scope, was that I intended for it to be kind of short range, and then we were going to fast travel to a different spot. But like what that's that's probably the best start to a classic hunt we've maybe ever had in all these years. That is just insane. And I think that's our best blacktail since Trophy Lodges. I believe we had a, a 194, but I think it was kind of on the lower end. But this is actually the second time in two weeks that I was going to record classic. Kyla had a game up and had already shot something nice. She had a 180 whitetail in this particular hunt. And last time I think it was a high 170s whitetail before we got our 191 whitetail. I keep on thinking, like, something good got shot, maybe I shouldn't join the map and then doing it anyway. If this is an evidence that is worth checking out even after a decent kill, I don't know what else would be. I wouldn't exactly call that a special black bear by any means. I mean, 15 to 17, definitely on the lower end for what males can be, but there aren't that many species on Red Feather, and I was thinking about that as for just like what map to hunt and stuff for this particular video and just because there aren't that many I thought that we could try to take one of everything and black bear are one that I think is going to potentially be the most difficult so with one in front of us we can go ahead and drop them there with the 308 and shoulds the only kind of negative to that is we just fast travel but I do think that if there were any elk in the area and that's kind of the area that we're in right now. Most likely we would see elk up here in the northeast. They likely would have bugled in response to our call. So I think we're probably fine to take that shot and just kind of continue forward. So not quite the adrenaline rush of crawling up over a rock and seeing a massive max estimate blacktail, but a little 15 scoring bear and honestly 40 CSS, basically 40 GM for just making that harvest. Not a bad deal. I wouldn't have expected to not run into an elk the entire time. On my way down through here, I hit a max weight whitetail track, and it turned out to be this guy, which at 165 to 185 definitely is going to be pretty decent. I think he's maybe got some shorter tines, or I'd give him decent odds at being in the 180s. I think most likely he'll be like mid 170s, but we'll go ahead and use the 308 carp. And that is our third species down now, with two of them actually being quite solid. The blacktail obviously is just huge, and this whitetail is well above average. The black bear was the only one that we didn't really get anything uh, even remotely special there. Now, at some point, there is really two other options for 308s. Uh, we have the 308 Highwoman here, which is the engraved version of the 308 Rival. There's also the 308 Wolfsbane, which is kind of the uh, werewolf weapon so we may consider using that as well 99.3 kg i had a feeling that one would be pretty big just because the track looked absolutely massive and 177 score i mean some really nice deer already we may take a trophy shot of that mentioned uh oh 
did a mission, all right. Not sure what that one was for, but mentioned wanting to get our first trophy shot with this particular set of clothing. Now we're on to number two with only three harvests in this hunt. There really is not a great spot to take this trophy shot in. I mean, we're on a hill in a weird way that we can't even have the character behind the deer where we're just entirely hidden. And there's not much sun, unfortunately. I mean, we just kind of dropped him in his tracks there and there wasn't a whole lot to work with, but obviously the blacktail was the best kill there anyway, and at least now we have a third species sort of out of the way. Now, once we kind of cross this little bridge, we're basically out of elk territory, so what I think we might do is go ahead back to the outpost. That gives us more time in elk territory. We'll probably switch out at least to get the 308 rival handgun. And ideally, we can find a bull elk just by doing that, but at least we could cover more ground. As it turns out, new map, basically same result. Another nice buck, and actually he's getting a little bit too close for comfort, so we're going to go ahead and take him with the 308 rival this time. 135 to 160 high rack, and we did decide to basically start a fresh map. It was a little after 10 in game, and we're going to end up with a lot of animals kind of sleeping. 95 kg and a 152 score. Interesting to get a shoulder blade in hard shot, maybe it was the angle. But another nice buck, and hopefully with the kind of earlier time now, and also the fact that animals haven't been roaming around for kind of hours to potentially get out of where they normally are, we can run into this elk. I can't believe how difficult it has been to find elk out here, but no lack of big bucks anyway. Well, he's definitely not up to the standard that the other bucks have set so far, but at least we see more antler here and still no sign of any bull elk. We had one cow elk call a while back, and that's been it. I mean, we're in definitely the area that I would tend to think we should find them in, and there's been a whole lot of nothing. Like I said, usually, usually once you cross this bridge, that's kind of it. So we may go ahead and look for moose at least, and go ahead and try to get one of them, if not multiple. And then circle back at the end. I'm shocked that we haven't even seen a track. It's actually an interesting rack. He's a 4x3. You don't see a lot of whitetail like that. In Classic, they're usually, say, 4x4 or 3x3. He would have scored in the 60s if he was a mainframe 8, but 58 for that guy. And like I said, I mean, hopefully we can start to run into some other things, but... Maybe it can be just a little bridge kill between our high rack and whatever is ahead of us. This is just one of those hunts where most of what we're finding is quite solid. I mean, at 165 to 185, this guy's no record breaker, but it's a really nice bull for the first one that we've seen. And again, the only thing we're lacking is a bull elk here, so we can try to make a hard shot there. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. Just for good measure, in case that was a weird body shot, I think we better get a second round in him. And there was a black bear back there, just in case it's decent as well. I'd like to spot it if we could. I'm not sure what direction ran, and that's it right there. Just a tiny female, so we'll leave that alone. We'll go and grab our bull moose, and what I had decided to do was fast travel up to this campsite, and then kind of go down through this area. If there weren't any elk down in here, I do have to think there'd be some on the northern part of the map. So that's going to be the kind of direction that we head in at this point. Like I said, I wanted to get one of everything just because it started moving in that direction right at the very beginning. At this point, with only one species remaining, I'm rather committed to that. So I've got to think this guy is right around that 185 mark. First shot would have been fine in a 180 move. So that now has us with a 194 blacktail a 177 whitetail, a 180 moose, and as far as the antler species go, that's three for three as far as getting good ones, so we'll see what we can do for elk now. Man, talk about opposite, 75 to 95 for that moose, and at least one we can take with the 308 and should still no sign of any elk at this point, but I'm kind of bummed out. There was a competition running for the lowest scoring moose shot on red feather i think 78 or something is first place and i don't actually think this guy is going to be that small now we do actually have a moose trophy anyway i'm not sure though because it's like a, a special comp that it may have its own sort of trophy I, I really don't know but 
at least if this guy does end up being that low scoring, we're not missing out entirely, since we've got that bronze uh, trophy from a Helmetal hunt, but I'm pretty sure the split kind of brows is going to keep him above that point, because I think it's kind of a 3x3 three three that ends up being the 70s. 90 is not exactly impressive, but at least we're not missing out on a placement by not entering. Almost two and a half hours to finally lay eyes on a bull elk, and not only has it been two and a half hours of hunting, it's been two and a half hours primarily in areas where I would expect to see elk, or at least in areas where you can encounter elk on Red Feather Falls, and to finally see one that far in, we're definitely not going to pass up that opportunity. And I had gotten a bull elk track that went up to 470 kg. I'm actually not so sure if this one's going to be it. So if it's not, we'll probably try to track that one down and get him too. We'll find out quite shortly by checking on the tracks. And you know, this guy definitely didn't live up to the kind of standard set by the other antler species on this hunt. But like I said, for as long as it took to even find one, I am happy to take this guy. And he was actually the track that we had. So nice to not have to track anything. And I mean, probably smaller than maybe both of our bucks. Yeah, 171, he is the smallest one out of everything. But I think he is going to be our last kill. So on that note, first of all, I want to thank you guys for 308k here on the channel. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.